20 years later, can you believe it's been 20 years since the 20th? Another one is coming. The 40th anniversary of the Rabbit GTI. So while it is the GTI Treffen, GTI Gathering, GTI we always think golf. So of course Volkswagen Classic, who you should go follow on Instagram by the way, great account. They brought out their full generations lineup. So Mark 1, 2, Mark 3 they brought out the Jubilee. Um, so this was the 20th anniversary and then uh, 1996 because 1976 was the first one here. Then we went up to the Mark IV, which is the 25th anniversary, but confusingly, we did get it in America as the 337 edition in 2002, because 2003 was our 20th. So if you get that mass right, the GTI started in America in 1983, but 1976 here in Europe. Mark V, yes, they got an anniversary. Mark VI, well, here we go, 35 years. Mark VII, and up to the latest Mark VIII, which last year they got the 45th anniversary as a club sport. The club sport's a little bit fancier, a little bit more power, but that's the, the 45th. We never got the club sport in the USA, nor probably will we, but let's keep moving on and take a look inside. Welcome to the Autostadt. So Autostadt is basically the Volkswagen Group's playground and it's right next to the factory in the heart of Wolfsburg. And it's a pretty impressive building considering this is just the entrance to the main campus. But today is the GTI Treffen. So the so lineup of cars here behind me and then inside the Autostadt dotted throughout is a bunch of enthusiast owned cars and special editions, limited editions and concept cars such as thanks to Klaus Zitziora, the Golf GTE Sport, which is pretty amazing. So based on the GTE, but wildly low profile. When you put it next to a Mark II, it's just ultra, ultra low. Looks like a Scirocco. Gull wing doors, don't think it's probably open. Carbon fiber all over the darn place. And I think this was released at Worthesy some years back, but uh, yeah, they brought it out of their uh, warehouse for the design team and brought it out for everyone. Triumph Adler computer Mark II, and over here a 35 year anniversary and a polo, but let's go back to the beginning, talk about where GTI came from, just what we might see is a little bit different, especially if like me, you're in America or North America, and then we'll take a walk around. want to pause momentarily from inside the Zeithaus, which is the great big fancy museum here in the Autostadt. To say thank you to our video sponsors, SolarWorks. Um, SolarWorks suspension, available at thesuspensionsource.com. Uh, Glenn, founder of SolarWorks, is the biggest suspension nerd that I know and just uh, yeah, really, really amazing person that really puts a lot of time and effort into every setup. Also, thank you to scpeuro.com and Likamali for making this trip possible at all. Autostadt and Volkswagen Classic for allowing me to drive a Golf GTI that we will talk about in a bit. So for now, I'm gonna keep exploring 
Stay tuned. So walking outside into the main campus of Autostadt, because literally there's a factory there. So this is right in front of it, lakes, everything. So cars dotted around, privately owned cars. And that's kind of a big deal because last time they did this, the GTI coming home, it was held over around the stadium. And that was held by Volkswagen. This one is held by Autostadt because they are separate entities, but yeah, it's all part of the same thing, business things. But talking behind me is Sydney Hoffman, YouTube television, and then Fanny Leute, TCR champion, Nürburgring extraordinaire. So we're not gonna interrupt them. We're gonna let them do their thing. We're gonna walk over this way because there is a ton of cars and a couple that I specifically wanna talk about. This is the GTI fan drive. It's really something from Worthesy. So you drive the car up on stage there. But the next one up is the up GTI, which is probably one of the cutest GTI things ever. It's absolutely teeny tiny, four by 100. It's about the same weight as a Mark One Golf GTI, if I remember correctly. But it's got the plaid interior, just absolutely adorable. We don't get them in North America, unfortunately, but they are just super ultra, ultra cool. So walking down the line, they'll be next up on stage. There is Sind Sydney Industries Golf GTI as well. But coming up right next to me here, an edition one. So Mark II Golf, G60 Arches, BBS RMs, always in cool colors but they have a specific interior as well some of them did have recaros ultra ultra cool and then behind it another edition one but this one's a four-door this one's for sale so if you're interested uh there's the phone number but four-door because yes mark one golf mark two golfs did come in four-door five-door depending on how you want to put it but this was factory, ultra cool additions there. Staying on topic, TCR, last of the three doors. Club Sport S, this is literally the one that Benny Leuter set the record around the Nürburgring, seven minutes, 49 seconds and 21 with all of the extra air and everything. So this was really the pinnacle of the GTI. This one, fastest around the Nürburgring, really proper aero, everything else. This one's we only made 400, I think, of those total. So moving down, Mark One lowered on ATSs, and then a Mark One Golf GTI. This one is special because it's part of Volkswagen Classics collection, so part of Volkswagen's collection. This is a 1983. This is one of the last ones, and I'm going to drive this one in a little bit through the factory grounds. So we're going to drive out just around there, past the car delivery towers into one of the main gates and we're gonna take a lot of the owners and their cars and drive through the factory grounds, which is absolutely incredible opportunity. They did do that before 2017, 2018 with the GTI coming home, the first one, but this time organized by Autostat. So 1983 Golf GTI, why is that year significant? 1983 was the last year of the Mark I Golf GTI in Europe. 1984, they moved to the Mark II. So, 1983 was the first year of the Rabbit GTI. Built in Westmoreland, Pennsylvania. 1983 was the first year. 1984, the last year of it. Then they went 1985 to the Mark II. So this car coming up will have an anniversary. 1983, this car will be 40 years old next year in 2023. That also marks 40 years of the GTI in America, the Rabbit GTI. So I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. America had the 20th anniversary with the Mark IV in 2003. 20 years later, can you believe it's been 20 years since the 20th? Another one is coming. The 40th anniversary of the Rabbit GTI is going to be available in early 2023 in North American markets. Canada and USA are confirmed. It will be limited edition. I cannot tell you how many will be produced, but as I go to my notes, I can tell you some proper other things. It will be built right here in Wolfsburg. There will be four colors available. Probably the most exciting, Tornado Red. Tornado Red is coming back. It will be on this model, Urano Gray as well. So Tornado and Urano are exclusive to the 40th anniversary of the Rabbit GTI. The other two colors are Pomelo Yellow and Opal White Pearl, which previously was called Oryx. So four colors, white, gray, yellow, and red, but Tornado Red and Urano Gray are exclusive 
to the 40th anniversary GTI. Just saying 40th anniversary, just, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's happening. Right, it's gonna be based on the S, the GTI S model, which is my personal choice, but this adds the thing that I think that the S kind of, yeah, you, you'll see. Let's go through the list right now. First of all, black roof, gloss black mirror caps, fine. Illuminated grill. That's my dream one. All I want is an S model with an illuminated grill. So we got that. 19 inch Scotchdale alloy wheels, which are from the Club Sport 45th that I just showed you a little bit earlier, with summer tires as well. So high performance summer tires on the 19 inch Scotchdale wheels. 40th details throughout. Rather like the R 20th anniversary, the Golf R 20th anniversary. So we'll have 40 door sill decals. The illuminated, the hexagon will have 40 as well, and the steering wheel. And also for the S model, DCC, dynamic chassis control. And of course, even better, it'll be available in both DSG and six speed manual. So that is most of the information that I can share. Four colors, special decals, details, Scottsdale wheels from the Club Sport 45th. Summer high performance tires, but Tornado Red and Orano Gray are, are the big news there. Limited edition, I, again, don't ask me how many, don't ask me if they will be numbered. I do not know. We'll wait for Volkswagen to tell you, but from 1983, 40 years later, this exact car will celebrate its birthday, but to celebrate 40 years of the Rabbit GTI, of the GTI brand in America. It is coming. We are getting a 40th anniversary. Oh my gosh.